Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. Now, I've been trying to build a Sten kit for a while, and you look online and you see other people who are building them, and they, they talk about, you know, cutting the receiver tube and welding it and getting everything ready, but I feel like a lot of people miss talking about um, the actual internals of the tube once you order it. So what I have is I have one of the kits from Indianapolis Ordnance, and we're just gonna break it open. We're just gonna see what's in it, where it goes. We're gonna learn together. Just gouged up my desk. So hopefully if, uh, if you decide that you wanna build one of these, you, uh, you got an easy way to kind of know a little bit more than what I knew going in. So let's get this ripped open. Let's see what we got in here. So first out of the box, we got payment information and stuff. Not gonna show you that. Some ITAR stuff. Throw that away. A couple pieces, all wrapped up. More paper, more paper, more paper, and a postcard, or I'm sorry, and a uh, business card. So let's see what we got in here. First things first, let's open this. Now I ordered everything I need, but the parts kit, the uh, surplus parts kit, and the tube. I've already done the tube. So opening this up, we got our eight inch barrel right looking in there it looks uh it's got some machining marks in there i don't know if you can see it some some dirt and whatnot but that shouldn't be too bad and i got the barrel extension because i ain't got the money that sbr is right now <clears throat> all of this cost me about 450 bucks plus whatever the tube cost plus whatever your surplus kit costs well that's great that it's already got the uh the grooves for everything in there i'm not sure what side is the chamber side i assume that side's the chamber side so it fits in there perfectly. Oh, that's great. That, well, that pisses me off. You know, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna paint it, but I don't like that that's on there. But I like that it's the size so you know exactly where your 16 inch barrel is. That was good on them. We got this little thing. Pull that up. We got a trunnion. I assume that's the front trunnion. I don't really know how this point goes together. You know, no one really talks about it. So I guess that goes, yep. There's your front trunnion. And hopefully that means the back trunnion's in here. Now the back trunnion it was supposed to come with the, uh, with the semi-auto bolt kit. I don't know why the front trunnion doesn't either, but it doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. There's the meat and potatoes. There's our semi-auto bolt, right? Looking pretty, feels pretty beefy, pretty good. This is supposed to be, I would assume, our rear trunnion. So, like that, I assume is how that goes in. No, probably not. Is that the front one? Hmm. Have to, uh, have to read the directions a little bit to figure that out. This is why I wanted to make this video. I wanted, you know, no one talks about this stuff. So, so I wanted to talk about this for you, the people. Got two sets of these screens, springs. This one says hammer written on there in the finest marker. This one says recoil, right? Got these two guide rods, very, very haphazardly cut off but I assume they're gonna need some finishing and we got the rest of the parts kits some stock I'm not sure that's for AR-15 firing pin this is probably for the back here I imagine I would imagine 
This is through recog. See, this is another thing. I wanted to know how these actually work, and I think I know from figuring out, but I'm gonna have to try that a little bit. Okay. Some rivets. So that's everything that came with. And our instructions. I'm not sure what their uh, policy is on publishing these. So until they tell me otherwise, here they are. Right, some instructions. These would be nice to have published. Go ahead and take a look, see how that optional safety switch. I'm not gonna worry about that. How everything goes. So I still need to play around with this, put it all together, figure it out. But from my understanding, let me get this back into position. From my understanding is that this part is gonna sit right up underneath here. And when you pull the trigger, we see that it goes down, which is gonna allow our hammer spring or something to go forward to, to fire the round. Now, how that gets recocked, I don't know. Probably, you know, something with our uh, little doohickey here. I'm sorry, I'm not very knowledgeable on this. Um, so hopefully that's how it works. And hopefully this can all go together pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna follow you, you guys are gonna follow along with me while I put this part together. If you wanna know the best way to drill this out or the best way to weld or the, the best way to remove the inner material for this, you know, that's not, this isn't gonna be the videos for you. I wanna care about these internal parts kits, right? No one talks about these. I wanna talk about these, so. Keep, keep tuned if you want to build one of these and uh, we'll build it together, but hopefully it'll be done here in the next week or so. Video shortly after that. Um, if you want to support me, please subscribe. I really want to reach that thousand subscribers and uh, join me on Patreon if you feel like throwing me a couple bucks. I'm a broke college kid. Um, I donate money out of my arm. I donate plasma for money to, uh, to fund this stuff. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching Cheap Shot.